All right, I'm at Chick Fil A, but don't worry. Oh my God, yeah, like I, you just lie to me all the time. It's one lie well, after Nick, another. Well, Nick, Nick didn't eat, you know, so I had to stop and get him food. Oh, poor baby Nick. You know, uh, every now and then he could just. You got nothing at home to eat. He could eat like some fuck of uh, a sleeve of saltine crackers and. Uh, I mean, a sleeve of saltine crackers. He said you can eat. <laughs> well, me and Lex went to Mexican, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we didn't take him. Obviously, he was at basketball. Ah, well, you know he, you know, did he play well enough to earn Chick Fil A? Uh, he was just practice. Good. How you doing? Oh, oh okay. Jesus Look at this. Christ. You get the whole. You guys get the whole experience here, yes. Anthony. No, we're good. All right. One of everything. So I, I am gonna say we're at Chick Fil A, and I, I think I just made one of the biggest Chick Fil A mistakes ever. I. I ordered. I went to go put my card in, and my I couldn't get the card in the thing. And I said, "Jesus, probably not the thing to say when you're at Chick Fil A." Well, it depends. Was the food already made? Uh, no, no. I was paying, and I couldn't get my credit card. They make you put your credit card in the thing yourself, and I couldn't get it in there. And I'm like, "Jesus." No, I'm I understand like, yes, that, I but was the, are you paying because you're pick because they're handing you the food, or are you paying? And no, then... no, no, no. I was paying. I just ordered, and I was paying, oh. so I didn't get. The Yes. Yeah, but I said Jesus. I yeah, no, I understand what you're. You took the Lord's name in vain, and in front at, of at Chick Fil like, A, like it get any worse right, than that? at an like, establishment that's not open on Sundays. Yeah, right. Right. I mean, I I think I I have like this is probably worse than if I said it at a church. Like they're they're <laughs> it is because they yeah. they're putting their money where their mouth is. They literally have a business inside a football stadium. And they do not open it for the Sunday Falcons games. So yeah, that is true. What's the point of that? Well, the point is that they're they that well the man in charge at least not Seth Gregg but the man in charge Chick Fil A. <laughs> uh, he he's he's putting his money where his mouth is and not being a hypocrite. So I mean, he's a, obviously before I get stoned. Uh, yeah. By listeners, uh, he yes, he is a hypocrite in many many other ways, including the way he treats. You know, or his attitude towards yeah. like gay people and stuff like that. But uh, you know, but you know, all for Jesus. So uh, well, I, I uh, so well. Speaking of Seth Greg, do you have something else? Because <laughs> well, his name, I feel like his name came up adjacently in uh in the business that I assume we're going to talk about here. Well, I, I I like we cannot not talk about what happened this week. Like we <laughs> cannot skip over this. Well, okay, so. <laughs> When was it? When did I call? It was Sunday. Sunday. I'm chilling around the house, you know, doing doing what I do, uh, watching Netflix on the couch. And uh, my roommate goes, uh, "You got a package here?" And I'm like thinking, "What? On a Sunday? I'm getting mail. Weird." But uh, right on but, a Sunday. But then when I get up and like turn the corner to see what he's talking about, he's holding a, like a rather large fucking box, like <laughs> a large box. <laughs> And I'm like, I have an, or-, and it was an Amazon box. <laughs> You're laughing oh. already. <laughs> I snorted. <laughs> oh, I just did too. Uh, an Amazon box. And I'm like thinking, I'm like thinking, I haven't ordered anything from Amazon in weeks. Like, is this, this is either like I'm getting someone else's mail or like, this is something I forgot I ordered that like was like late or delayed or. Right, right. The only thing I'm expecting in the mail, and it's like, I'm not even going to get into explaining it, but, uh, uh, I ordered a helium miner, but I paid like 500 bucks for it. But I didn't think it would come from uh, Amazon. So, but right. that's the only thing I'm expecting in the mail for the next like month or two. Like I haven't ordered anything, so I take it and it's got my name on the box. Which is <laughs> better? <laughs> and I I open it up, right? And there's two more boxes. Oh Oh, you get. Hey, you have a great rest Thank of the you. Day. You too. Yeah. Did, did you could at least <laughs> a, apologize for right. saying for Jesus? Saying Jesus. Yeah. I'm gonna tell. It, was the, it wasn't me. It was the guy in the truck yeah. in front of me. So go ahead. So finish your story here. Your, your sinful son. Um, you could have blamed him. Uh, so yeah. So I'm opening the boxes. Did I call you as I was opening them? Or did um, I call you after? You already opened it. You All opened right. it already when you called me. I I opened the bo- the first box. There are 40 bags of Doritos in there. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> and I'm like crying. I'm laughing so hard. You know, not like uh, obviously not like the family side. The the you know the small bags that like the like individual serving right, ones. Right, like you would take to like school lunch or something. Right, you know, like, right, right. It would be in your yeah. yeah. It would be in your school lunch. Right. So and I opened that. So I opened up the smaller box, and it's got like uh, I think there were thirteen sleeves of cookies in the, like wrapped sleeves. <laughs> But assorted, assorted. They were they were Oreos, Oreo double stuffs, Chips Ahoy, and Nutter Butters. And I love a Nutter Butter. (laughs) So, yeah, Nutter Butter. Marco made a trip over for some Nutter Butters. Just for the Nutter Butters. Yeah. So, I'm crying, laughing. I'm call you up. Right. You were hyperventilating on the phone, laughing. I couldn't breathe. I could not I'm, breathe. As I'm talking to you, I send photos over of it. Right. <laughs> and you're laughing and laughing, and I'm like, I'm like, who the fuck sent this? And we know we have, look, we have one person that we assume did it because he's the only person that's ever like sent food to people. So we think, right. So we assume it's Bobby Rogers. And you're like, is there a note? There's a note there. I go, I didn't see one. So I go back and I, like, like. Ten minutes later, I'm like, let me dig through those boxes again. So I dig through the boxes again, <laughs> and there's two, uh, there's two like uh, things with the, with the, uh, what are those square things that you take a picture of, and it opens up a website? QR codes. Yeah, the uh, QR codes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, There's two of those that send thank you notes, and I'm like, well, I, who am I thanking? But then there were two other little notes on there, and the first one, I, I got them right here. I'm gonna read them. The first one reads. Here it is. <laughs> I read it. I read it to you. I'm like a gift. A gift for you. You'll always be one of us. From Brandon and Mikey Walsh. <laughs> and so you, you and I are like trying to think who the fuck are, are Brandon and Mikey Walsh. Right. Right. And uh, and we're we're thinking like are they? Do, so I, yeah, do and they I listen looked to on Facebook po- first. Well, yeah, we're go. We're like, do they listen to podcast? Are they like? Do right. they follow you on Facebook? What is it? And then you. So I, I looked on Facebook first. Yeah. 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 And I couldn't find anything. Right. Right. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm eating Doritos while I talk to you. Uh, <laughs> what, how many bags are left? Are we down to like 32 or something like that? Oh, now? dude. We've, we're at least 10 down. <laughs> we're at least 10 down. I'm like, I'm like. I'm like using them in ways I shouldn't be using them either. Like I crushed them and put them over pasta the other day. <laughs> I'm like, this pasta is oh a little, God. a little plain and I don't have any hot sauce. I'm going to crush some of these Doritos and put them on the top. And it so added like a, and it added a little crunch, like, uh, like, right, yeah, yeah. like breadcrumbs on top of mac and cheese. So, uh, right. so, uh, so you Googled, so I Googled it. Yeah. You right. Googled it and you couldn't even get the words out. You were, you were, I, you were when I Googled it, when it popped up, what it was, I couldn't talk, I couldn't breathe, I was crying, full on tears, I, and then I, I was laughing so hard I was coughing because I I could not. That was the funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life because I wasn't expecting that, right? At all. So, which makes you'll always be one of us even funnier, right? That's right. probably no because yes. Brandon and right. Mike now it makes sense. Brandon and Mikey Walsh turn out to be if you google them the two brothers in the goonies played by sean astin and uh what's his name that was uh, thanos in the avengers movies uh josh yeah. josh brolin yeah so i'm one of the goonies apparently uh, you're one of us right so <laughs> <laughs> so that was one note so then the other note uh what did this one say oh yeah okay you're the greatest from Ralph Hinckley and Bill Maxwell. <laughs> Ralph Hinckley. <laughs> right. So these, I mean, with the, the thing, you're the greatest, it's a clue. But, like, I don't remember these names. For, I would never remember these names. So you Googled these as well. And <clears throat> Ralph Hinckley and Bill Maxwell were the uh, main character and I think the FBI agent in the old 80s TV show, The Greatest American Hero. Which, right. if you've never seen, the most famous thing about that show is uh, the theme song. 
the opening theme song, which is like, believe it or not, yo, I'm walking on air or whatever. You know, uh, yeah. you know, it's a famous song. So, uh, so you're the greatest, greatest American hero. I get it. Um, I used to watch that show when I was a kid. Uh, I, I, so funny. It, it, it has to be Bobby Rogers. So then, so then it didn't end there. You know, I've got all these snacks. No. What's all that noise? Uh, these children, I don't know. So, so yeah. So you you sent me. What did you 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 saw it? Did it? So, where well, did no, you find so it? So I I got a message on Instagram, and it was in my. It wasn't in my message file. It was in like the requested file. So I didn't follow this person. I don't like have anything to do with them or anything like that. And uh, I was like, it was a picture of. It was your face. <laughs> so I was like. I'm like, okay, it's it's definitely your face, but it's, <laughs> but but there's like it's definitely not your account. That's the other part, right? right. So I'm like, what the hell? So I I uh, I click the message to see, and it's <laughs> it's the uh, <laughs> let me see if I can find it. I have it. it's. It's the Ben Temple's fan page. Yeah, it just says Ben Temple's fan for username. Right. And it's got right. a, a a picture of me. Right. Yeah, that's not the one I use for my uh I don't I don't I can't even open it for some reason. But the and it's got one it's got one post with one image. And the image is like right. a uh I think it's a cat it's like, standing it's on a, a cat dog. on a wolf on, on a wolf on a dog's back. And the dog is on a donkey's back. Right. And so, it says, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, it. it says, I'm Ann Wilkes. You can call me Annie. I'm Ben Temple's number one fan. Now, that's what it says. Now, that's another m movie reference. Right. Annie Wilkes is the main character, well, in the movie and in the book, Misery. And that's your thing. I'm, I'm your number one fan. I'm your number one fan. So, is that, am I supposed to take that as a threat that someone's going <laughs> to. Uh, I don't know. Tie me down to a bed and uh, make me finish a novel. Well, and and then then and then mm -hmm. uh, I see the message, and the message says, "Hello, I'm Annie Wilkes. I sent Ben Temple some packages because <laughs> I lost it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says, oh, hold on, hold on. Give my composure here. It says." Uh, hello, I am Ann Wilkes. I sent Ben Temple some packages because I'm a big fan of the show. Both of you are the best. I am from London. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> from London, cheers! And then it says, I live in Silver Creek, Colorado now, and I would love to come to Florida to meet you guys. So funny. Now, like I, I read this to you. I could not breathe when I was reading it to you. I was like, I was dying. Yeah, I couldn't understand you. You had to read it like four times to me. Right. You were laughing. I was so laughing hard. so hard. But then I noticed they were only following you, you and me, your, and me. But they're they're only following me and you. But the only person following the page was the man in charge, Seth Craig, who was your former. Employer, yeah, right? mine and Marco's, right. And, and as, so far as, now, I, as far as I'm concerned, that guy can go kick rocks. But uh, right. So here was the funny thing in my head. I thought, well, first of all, what would make him follow that page? That was my first thought, right? Because how would he have found it? It's not even a, like. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it, how would he have stumbled on that page? I, it doesn't even make sense to me how that would have happened that he followed it that way. Yeah, right? no, that it doesn't make a lot of sense unless it, you know, it, it has suggested people that that could, you know, you might want to like, but how would that pop up so quickly like that for him? It right, was, right. Yeah. That that was my first thing. Like how, and then why would he follow the page? Like obviously, there's heat between you two. Why would he follow the page? And like, I just don't get how he found it. Why he would follow it? And I know we were saying, you know, that we thought it was Bobby Rogers, but then in my, I thought. How would what, like if Bobby even did that on purpose? With like, how would Bobby know you and Seth had heat? Like he doesn't listen. Bobby doesn't listen to the podcast. He says. I promise you. He says he doesn't listen to the podcast. 
I, 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 I can guarantee you he doesn't. He would never do waste his time on us <laughs> listening to this. But well, he wants to be on it. Well, here's the thing. Now, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go. This is probably gonna get me in trouble. Go but ahead. I'm gonna go deep here. I'm gonna <laughs> go deep. Go deep. Who does listen to this podcast that does talk to Bobby? Billy fucking fives. Jesus. So now I'm like, does wait he? a second. Does Billy have something he to do with this? He doesn't talk to Seth. No, Billy talks to Bobby. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But then I'm like, no, nah, why would they have that conversation? And how would they keep with Seth? Com-? Like, but then, but then, I've got another theory. Well, here's the thing. If, if, if. If it was Billy ribbing me through Bobby, right. I would have gotten frozen tater tots sent to me. Right, right. But then I thought, what's the other connection with Seth? Now, this is a far-fetched one. Should I put my tinfoil hat on for this conspiracy theory? Oh, this one, <laughs> this one's out there. Now, okay, because now we're thinking address, right? Like, you've given your address out on the podcast before. Many times. But who... Who would have had your address? Who would have had your address without listening to the podcast, right? So there's there's a couple people, right? Myself. And I am too fucking cheap to ever send you Doritos or cookies. That would never fucking happen, ever, in your life. True. Except, and yeah, I'd send you a pizza. Except it's weird, because this was like a 40-pack or a 38-pack of or something like that. Right. Of mini Dorito bags and, like, 13 sleeves of cookies, I almost feel like this was, like, a, like, Amazon deal or something. This wasn't, like... Right. like I our, would never do that, though. Yeah, this is... Yeah, okay. But I'm just saying, like, it wasn't, like, a... Like, right. someone went and just saw, picked... I think this was, like, the like some cheap deal that they... Deal of the day there. or something, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I wouldn't do that. Then I thought, here, here, <laughs> here's the... There's only two other people that... Well, there's more than two other people, but... The connection with Seth is a. It could be Seth Greg. It could be because he he may have your address on file. I'm assuming from working, right? I would imagine. Or two, Marco. Could it be Marco? He knows your address. But then I thought Marco's just as fucking cheap as me. There's no way he's buying you that for a rib. He's no cheap. fucking. Way. He's cheaper in a way. He's right. He not only is he just as cheap as you. He also, but he's not a sharer, you know. Like right, and he's got that's a baby the other half. In and, right, like there's just too many variables. So this is very odd. But now, through all of this, I just realized just now when I opened the message to read it to you, Ben Temple's fan sent me a second message. I have not read it yet. Wait a minute, what? I didn't even notice it was there. See, I I, I followed the I followed the. There's See, two people follow following it. the Instagram account now. Man in charge, Seth that. Gregg. Uh, who Which can, is still weird. Who can, like it's who, weird. Who can go kick rocks? And me. Because right. if anyone's going to make a fan page for me, even if it's a spoof, I'm going to embrace it. I got a second message. I just saw it because I'm not following it. So we're going to read it right now. Did, live you, didn't reply the, the, you didn't reply to the first one, did you? Never replied to the first okay. one. Now here's the second one. I'm going to read it. I've never I've been ready yet. First mm-hmm. time. So bear with me. You're going to lose it. All right. All I do is. <laughs> <laughs> you got one. two words in. You got two words in and blew it. All I, all I do is listen to different podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always home because I'm the <laughs> same. I just dropped my phone. I just dropped my phone. I don't know. I can't understand a word you're saying. I just dropped. I dropped. I have my headphones and I dropped the phone when I read it. What is it? <laughs> oh, it's. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> I'm gonna choke on a Dorito here. He said, "I'm always home because I'm disabled. <laughs> so I don't work." <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Start from the there's beginning. A, there's a lot more. <laughs> Start from the beginning. Uh, it says, all I do is listen to different podcasts. I'm always home because I'm disabled, so I don't work. These broadcasters always claim to be the best, but I listen, and I say, no, you're not one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> I should have proofread this first. Uh, just that you should have given it a dry run, that's for sure. It says... 
These broadcasters always claim to be the best, but I listen and say, no, you're not what. <laughs> I hate this you. is worth it. I hate you. If, just, if you're listening to this podcast, if there's any one, if this if this isn't the name of the podcast tomorrow, I'm going to be living. It says these podcast these broadcasters always claim to be the best, but I listen and say no. You're not one big cockatooty funny like the Breakfast Club. That's that's what Ann, that's how oh. Annie Wilkes talks. She, oh, instead, she has no idea. She, instead of using like real curse words, she uses things like cock a duty, you know? Yeah. This isn't called one big cock a duty. <laughs> there's more. I'm not even done. There's one more. There's two more lines. Then the next line says, Well, I have to go now and take my bipolar medication. <laughs> and then it says, Kisses. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. This is this is I have tears running down my face right now. This is now. brilliant. Tears. Uh, yeah, no, he's st- whoever it is, Bobby, is, uh, is, is staying very much in character. This is Annie Wilkes. Uh, wow. Uh, oh, my God. Wow. That, that's oh, my God. Whew. You got well, yeah. you got two words into it. Lost your shit. Oh, my God. I'm crying. I have tears running down my face right now. That was insane. Wow. Okay. I cannot. So we don't know who it is. So if you're listening and you're one of, if like, because there could be. Now we we want to blame Bobby, right? That's the easiest person to blame. But with the amount of people, let's just say no, no, have, no, because Bobby's clever and he would think of this stuff, right? And the character stuff, and he's into movies and he watches. No, 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 no. I. Until someone proves me wrong. Until someone just listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be my only thing. Is this? I agree, right? Bobby's always, you know, that's number number one always on our list of shit. And he's mailed you food before. I that's he has. Yes, but here's the thing. Unsolicited. Yes, we have people that listen, right? Uh And just I'm talking even from my TikTok page. There's a solid. We know there's a solid at least thirty that are dedicated. To our product, right? That sounds about right. Good, in like those a, 30 a that we 30. know, yes. that we know, right? You have given out your address on the podcast. <laughs> You've done that. Several like, times. That's happened. I've Several tried to times. bait people into giving me a pizza, pretending I didn't want right. one, and it never worked. Now, I will tell you, this week I have, there's been a couple people on my lives and said, hey, I'm catching up on podcasts. And I listened to five or six today, a couple people. One guy on the live said, said yesterday, uh, he made a, he made a reference from the most, like one of the most recent podcasts. And I, I saw it and I kind of thought, I said, wait a second, didn't we just talk about that on the podcast? So like, there's definitely variables. Like somebody could be fucking with us for sure with you, especially. And it could be one of the listeners because like, I, I would some we do have some sick listeners, like, like Paula <laughs> and CJ. I like, would, I would fucking s- demented. <laughs> like Kendra, Keep, Kendra just started listening. I love the Dan you're, that you're listening. piling on. I'm not. I haven't said anything bad about any of these people, but you keep it. Coming. I'm not saying anything bad. I'm saying you're calling that, them like, like animals, and, and because I can see, like, like CJ and Paula are very devious, and <laughs> and. And it's funny. And Dan is a new Dan's new a new guy that's listening. And Dan Dan quoting, you know, he's quoting lines. Dan, he knows the podcast. And then you got Kendra, and she's listening now. And you know, I just I look, look if you're listening to us, you're just as sick as we are. So, and <laughs> there's, like, there's, I just I don't know. Yeah, I I'll I okay. Know. I since it is not confirmed that it's Bobby, I will give a ten percent probability. That it could be someone right. else, but it's right. there's at least a ten percent, right? No, not, I, I not agree even like at most ten percent, right? Right. But it is funny. It's funny, and yeah, I think this is uh, this is hilarious. <laughs> cock and duty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one big cock and duty. That's what it said. <laughs> I love that. You, I'm so happy you read that for the first time on the air. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was there. I didn't even see it till just now. Oh shit! <laughs> I couldn't even get two. I literally got two words in and lost it. Oh my god! Well, if we get any then, more messages, either one of us don't open them until we're on another podcast. Until we have to read them, right? Right now, now, 
we'll, we'll solve this mystery. But yeah. I do have a, a breaking a breaking comment that just came in. Has nothing to do with the situation. Comment where? Has to do with, on my Instagram. Uh, there was a little 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 something here uh, between Mr. Billy Five just made a literally as I was talking to you just now made a comment on my Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I posted a picture of my gym. The gym is coming along nice. And Prime, who Prime is an old wrestler from back in the day. Uh, Prime hangs around Gangrel's school, which will be where I will be defeating Billy Fives. Oh, um, Lord. He tags Billy. He wrote, yo, tags Billy. It says, it looks like somebody is getting ready for you. I'm not saying any names. I'm just watching. Agitated. I wrote. Agitated. Right, I wrote. All right, and I wrote, oh, it's on. And Prime wrote like smile, laughing emojis. Well, Billy literally two se- four minutes ago it says writes anyone can own a gun. Very few of us have the balls to use it. Mm-hmm. AJ is going to die. That's what he wrote. I'm going to die. Funny. This is what he writes. I mean, yeah. You should screen cap that for when you have to uh, when you when you have to take him to court. The uh, when you have to like. <laughs> disability super damages yeah uh i'm I'm just surprised that they found a uh a a photo of your quote gym where there wasn't like like an old sandwich sitting on the weight bench or something oh listen you know your your roommate though let me tell you something because he's going to be next on my hit list why mr huss made a fucking comment on there and wrote so much snacking going on in there that's what he wrote that fucking asshole (laughs) well i mean I mean, the Instagrams don't lie, and your TikToks don't lie. You're, you're, well, you haven't stopped I, I stuffing have a good yourself. Comeback though to Hus. Yeah, your your roommate Hus got a good. Co- I wrote. I think you're mistaking me for Ben and his new Dorito obsession. Mm. <laughs> oh, trust me, he's had his share of the Doritos too. Oh, really? So he's benefiting off this. Everyone's benefiting off of this. Really? Hmm. Yeah. This, this is this is the uh man well so you've got a stalker a fan right? yeah yeah they need to they need to up their snack game though like i oh I, well here is this <laughs> is this a challenge if they're listening listen i like this well i'm in played. i'm in such a state right now that i'll eat anything you put in front of me <laughs> this is well played and i'm like i'm sadly eating this stuff like way too much of it but if you were to line up any kinds of snacks, the last two things I would grab, like literally the last two things I would grab would be Doritos and Oreos. So it was right. like it was almost like they knew that those are two things I do, I'm not it's not that I don't like them. It's just that like I like every other alternative better. <laughs> any other cookie, any other chip. So uh yeah, they they were but you know, they were free. They were a gift. They're in my house. I must eat them. I mean, that's the way it's going right now. Oh, so you're challenging them to? No, I'm. Uh, if they it, no, stop, I feel like you are. No, stop sending me sh- junk food, please. You, you could send me a warm pizza. You could call the local fucking delivery uh, place and send. You have stuff. my address. Send me a warm pizza. Don't. No more. No more of this stuff. This stuff's killing me. Mm-hmm. This stuff's this killing me. This is good. Me. This is good. Well, man, yeah, yeah. So what are we? What are we naming this one? One big cockadoodie. One big cockadoodie. Okay. I feel like that's you know. Yeah. All right. It's a solid name. I mean, yeah. People, I mean, I'd listen to find out what the hell you're talking about. And, and I don't. I don't know movies. You know that. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, yeah, no. So I, I had no idea what that move, what what that was from. It, <laughs> so, it, well, once I Annie Wilkes, of course, I knew Cockadoodie was uh was perfect for her. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Well, listen, yeah. if anything, though, if anything comes out of this, at least you're one of the Goonies. I am. <laughs> yeah. By by, I, sure. I think Mikey's the founding member. So. Yeah. So I'm. Oh, well, that was a good laugh, though. I'm definitely Goonies uh, approved. You got anything else today? Or are we getting out of here? No, that's. I can't honestly. I'm. I'm. I laughed so hard that I feel like I have to cough from holding it in because I don't want to cough on the airwaves. 
you know, when a fat man laughs, he has to cough. So, <laughs> well, I'm so when, out of shape. <laughs> when you uh, when you read the names to me that first time we were on the phone together, and you started yeah. coughing really hard, I start coughing really hard, and uh, and I I like cough so hard, I I felt like I was gonna throw up for an hour. I was just laying on the couch. <laughs> And I had like, oh. I had like my eyes kept watering as I just laid there on the couch. <laughs> goonies. <laughs> They're fucking goonies. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. Well, this is this is good. I can't wait for this one to be uh to be out there tonight or tomorrow morning. One big cock a duty. Tomorrow morning, probably. Now that you got me shifted all the way to the fucking graveyard shift here, uh, when we yeah, record yeah. these things. I, yeah. Uh, wow. All right, that's all I got. Yeah, well, well, it's about midnight, so let me go and edit this thing. <laughs> it's about midnight. <laughs> I gotta go take the garbage out anyway, and then I, I think I'm gonna go Listen, live. Listen, you I'm took you live. took the garbage out like two hours ago. <laughs> I thought you just brought him home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, fucking he. I, I I ate Mexican food tonight. Like, I, look, we'll end it with this. I'm off my. I am so far off keto, and in my head, I've been I've been good. I don't feel crappy because I've been working out, riding the bike, I've been boxing, I've been running, and I'll tell you, it doesn't. But no, no, no. Listen, you're gonna, boxing. you're gonna, this you, is gonna. You're boxing donuts. I am. You're boxing donuts. No, no, no. But listen, I've been training, so and I see my arms are coming back, mm -hmm. my shoulders, mm -hmm. but, but I, like in my head, I'm like, I don't feel crappy. I'm like, oh, I feel great. I went to work today, and someone who, uh, at work that I, you know, I. Uh, I've you know I've known him for two years, and uh, I go to that store you know whatever, and she says I walked in and I haven't seen her in a minute, and she touched my stomach, and I said what? <laughs> She's like, what are you fucking pregnant? <laughs> and I'm like, what? I was like, I've been working out. She's like, obviously not abs. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm glad so you I got a down. reality check. Good. Well, I looked down and I was like, well, I was like, yeah, but my arm. She's like, no, your arms do look bigger, but. What the fuck? And I'm like, well, I'm eating whatever I want, just working out. But then I had lunch today. After this, I got a, a sandwich and some mac and cheese. And uh, I felt so crappy after that I left work. I came home. I went right upstairs, took my clothes off, and I laid in bed and fell asleep for like 25 minutes. <laughs> just I had to like sleep it off, you know? Uh, what you need to do is uh go back on keto <laughs> you need to before you do that you yeah. need to stand in front of a mirror naked for a good five minutes <laughs> and be um, honest with yourself uh because uh yeah your 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 friend at the at the store was right you're uh you you need to uh no matter how much you're working out the amount of garbage you're putting in in yourself uh I can I can attest I can attest to this. Uh isn't gonna it's isn't gonna do you any favors. Yeah, no. And you got you literally have to have a you have to have a match with Billy Fives. I mean I'm waiting for that to finally sink in. Uh yeah. I uh I mean I I'm boxing. I think I could box him at least. Can you, like butter I look like butterbean, but I can, I can do it. I think you need to go back and watch uh Maybe some old Billy Fives YouTube matches, or yeah, or go at least go to our Instagram account and uh, revisit those uh, chops from when uh, we did that whole uh, that whole thing, and try and remember how bad those hurt. Because I, I feel like you uh, you've you've, uh. you've you've, you've uh, forgotten everything, and now you're not taking anything seriously. I'm working out though. I'm yeah, working you're, out. You're, I'm good. I'm good. You're, you're in big trouble, dude. You're in big trouble. You're like <sighs> you're like four months behind schedule, and you won't even diet. I'm gonna start in June. All June. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go eat ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, you Goodbye. Piece of shit. Goodbye. Okay. Bye.